a sailor's life is all about documents papers like can you see this see papers is all the documents one needs to acquire yes this document get expired they get expired you need to update them this is where our money goes to making this paper making this paper every year this is welcome back to my channel guys my name is rose edit yay and if you are new here please please subscribe to my youtube channel the channel is all about my sea life experience my lifestyle once in a while i bring in vlog like anything just to inspire an upcoming sailor the upcoming marina and to keep you entertained few weeks ago i dropped at one of these video and i, I realized that i just checked few back few weeks back and i realized that this video have topped all my videos so far and i really appreciate you guys for those that have watched my have watched that video i really appreciate you guys thank you so much so part one was all about um how to become a sailor school qualification where i talk about um the heights in school that you need to get to whether you you are going through nd hnd bsc or just the vocational um course you go to to do that can make a, that can enable you to become a seller that was just cool qualification but today i want to talk about how to become a seller um certificate you need to acquire apart from your school qualification which is the man of you to become a seller there are important documents you need to acquire you need to get you need to go for some are just few weeks some are just few days some are just uh, months you are issued this certificate and it will enable you to become a seller hats to your um, uh, qualification your university qualification or any vocational course you did so today these are the document the important one earlier i showed you a flip of a lot of document but i'm going to talk about these few ones i'm only here so today i will start first with with international passports international passport as you can see here i'm a citizen of nigeria and this is my international passport to go on board any ship apart from nigeria number two this is called seaman's book certificate and discharge book i don't know if you can see here this seaman's book you need to have this also very important here is your yellow card you need to have a yellow card also yeah yellow card is also very important so I told you part one was about your qualification so so far I'm able to have an ND qualification so your qualification is important that was the part one of this video so if you have not watched click this video here or go through my video my videos and you see how to become a a, a seller school qualification so this is my school qualification to become a seller this is my school qualification so i only have nd and i attended my time academy of nigeria Oron. so after that we have a certificate of this is just basic training this is another certificate yeah sccw STCW most vessel has for this some of the topic are here personal survival technique fire prevention and fire fighting elementary first aid personal safety and social responsibilities responsibilities so these are courses under this STCW that you need to go to their designated university that offer this course and after a few weeks you are issued this certificate they will teach you on personal survival technique you know being on board the ship is not about just climbing the ship in case of emergency the ship is drowning there are a lot of information you need to get that's why you need to go for this course personal survival in case of abandoned ship what are you to do if the ship is um, um, during emergency in, apart from this thing there are still drills they do on board but you need to get this certificate 
uh, fire prevention and fire fighting if fire is happening on board what are you going to do they'll teach you all this in these short courses elementary first aid you are seeing somebody unconscious or somebody lying on the floor what are you to do what are the things you can do as a person to help that person at that instant before a professional comes in you can save a life if you know simple things like this when you know elementary first aid things to do things to do in a situation like that so we have personal safety and social responsibility on board they should everybody has responsibility everybody has responsibility in fact how you relate with one another on board they is very important you go and study it and they issue certificate for you we have another one certificate uh, of prof um, prof uh, of prof uh, guys sorry i'm not an english teacher proficiency in oil and uh, chemical tanker cargo uh, cargo operation this might not be acquired in all ships but as long as you are coming to a tanker ship you need to own this that i know of um, maybe if you are going to a dp ves uh, vessel offshore vessel another thing is required of you maybe your dp certificates if you are going to a service board another thing is required but what i know if you are coming to a tanker vessel a product tanker you have to have this certificate this is your isps certificate so this is basically about security awareness training for seafarers coming on board the ship you keep watch as an officer even on a um engineers they keep watch they keep duty watch so in case of um in case of piracy what are you supposed to do this is security no you don't have a special guide to come and secure you as you is you that is securing yourself is you that is securing the ship is you that is securing the product on the ship so this course is just this particular one is about security awareness training isps code and as a marina it's very important of you to do your medicals medical you need to be fine fitted to climb a ship they need to conduct every test of very very um every test on you they need to conduct it is issued by nimasa first of all you'll be sent to a particular hospital nimasa has assigned specific of hospital to do this test to run this test for every seafarer so you will just find one around you or the one your company allowed and go and do this test if you are not fine fit you are not going the ship you cannot be asthmatic patients and the next thing you are working you're falling down it's not allowed so you need to be very fit to go on board a ship guys there are other uh, documents or yes other documents you can have to go on board a ship depending on the type of ship that you're going to we have tanker uh, we have ta uh, product tanker we have chemical tanker we have a um, um, cargo ship we have rural ship we just have we have yachts we have um, smaller boats depending on where you're working there are a lot of documents that is required of you before you can board the ship apart from your normal school qualification please note that all the mentioned documents is required of a cadet any other rank might require you to add more documents or taking out some so guys I believe this was helpful to someone i believe you've learned something and please 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 subscribe to this to this youtube channel for more this just like a token of encouragement for for me if i see someone watching this video and i've learned one thing or the other and at the end of the day they like they like my video or they subscribe i feel like i'm doing something there i feel like i'm helping someone there so it's just encouragement for me that's the only thing you can do for me I'm not asking for your money. I'm just asking you to like, like, and I feel like I've done something that to help somebody and someone has acknowledged that. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in my next video. Don't forget to comment. Ask me any question you have to ask. Ah yes, if I don't know, I will tell you. It's as simple as that. But I will try my very best to answer your question. Bye.